When rotary machining, the cutter normally will not travel below the rotation axis. The block rotates, so every side of the block can be machined while it is on top. Desproto applies this as default setting when you check use rotation axis, as then in the part parameters the material block is set to use upper half of geometry. Well, this works fine for most geometries, however, for some parts the cutter needs to go lower, for instance these curved table legs. The red color here above indicates area that is below the rotation axis. As normally the rotation axis is at Z is zero level, from here on I will simply talk about areas below zero. When you now calculate toolpath, they will look like this. The top of this roof-like shape is at Z is zero, and the material below the red toolpath lines won't be removed. This can however easily be solved by changing the part parameters. You can set the material block to use whole geometry. The toolpath then all of a sudden will look quite different. A set of butterfly wings as shown here will be added. While these paths may seem strange, they are absolutely correct. As you can see here on top, this is a top view. For some rotation angles there is no geometry below the cutter. The cutter remains at y is zero, so exactly above the rotation axis all the time. So for these angles the cutter will move down to ambient area level, which is the bottom of the cylinder shaped block. The wings are the toolpath at ambient level that you see now. Traveling so deep however is not needed for this geometry, so a custom minimum Z level can be set. And the result will look like this. Take care, the cutter needs to have enough free length available, as you do not want the collet to damage the part. If this is not possible, you can apply the collet collision check in uh, Desproto to prevent such collisions. In this video I won't show the complete setup for this rotary project as that has been covered in the other rotary tutorial videos uh, that we have. I'll just open the project uh, for the curved leg and show some important settings. Well first in the part parameters we machined a scale model about uh, 20, 250 millimeters as our desktop machine can't handle a larger part uh, and also important the material. The, uh, the, the diameter of the cylinder shaped block has been set uh, with the value of the diagonal of my rectangular block as I can't set a rectangular block for rotary machining in Desproto. Okay, we have three operations. First the roughing operation, we go down in a, a number of layers, five millimeters each. We set skin, uh, it's a six millimeter bull nose cutter strategy is around A. The area has been made a bit smaller as I do not want my cutter to come near the uh, rotary table. Uh, well further all has been normally set, well uh, a bit reduced uh, feed rate for the first toolpath is important. Uh, that's roughing. Uh, for finishing the area still is a bit smaller. Uh, we have a smaller cutter, a 3 mm ball nose. Now we use a helix operation uh, for roughing with all the layers. The helix doesn't work, but for finishing it does. It will be one very long toolpath from start to end. Uh, a very small skin thickness is left uh, to be taken off while detailing. Area is set a bit smaller. Okay, and uh, detailing is the smallest cutter, one millimeter ball nose, a very fine precision, a step over of one tenth of a millimeter. Again a helix, no roughing obviously, and then we can calculate toolpath which will obviously take quite long, especially for the detailing operation, so we have already done that. And when we save those toolpath, let me show them one by one. Here is the roughing in layers. Here is the finishing one helix and here is the detailing, a very 
detailed helix. One way to save those tool paths and send them to the machine, uh, I, I will show you what happens then. For rotary machining with toolpaths that go below zero, the workpiece zero point of the machine needs to be very accurately set with the tip of the cutter exactly on the rotation axis line. Reason is that now in each rotation two spots will be machined twice. In these images first at 140 degrees and then also a half rotation further at 320 degrees. Any deviation from the true zero point, say 0.2 mm for Y, will then be on the other side of the cutter. The result will be a ridge of 0.4 mm clearly visible. When the difference is larger than the roughing skin, some areas even won't be machined at all, as the finishing toolpath will then only cut hair over these areas. This is what happened in our case. You can clearly see a ridge at Z0. Below that line, the very small detailing cutter hasn't cut at all. Reason was that our, on our low cost desktop machine, the rotation axis was not perfectly aligned with X. Thank you. 